All right, we have a little bit of controversy in this game. Figured I'd make a video on it. The Jawan Taylor situation. So several things to talk about. First, what you see on the screen. Uh, this is something that was brought up on the broadcast. I didn't catch it in real time, actually, but Chris Collinsworth did. You see how far back Jawan Taylor is playing. You cannot be this far back. I made this line right here, which uh, is actually an optical illusion, but in a way that would benefit Taylor. You see where the top of his head is lined up, uh, and it's you know basically at the back of the shirt of the center. You have to be higher up than that, and the optical illusion makes it look like you know that's a little bit closer towards the center where he's snapping it. So actually, he's a little bit further back than that. We don't have a perfect dead-on angle of this, but definitely further back than you think would be allowed. Now, Mitchell Schwartz, the popular uh, Twitter account who obviously played a long time in the NFL, played a long time with the Chiefs, so definitely not an unbiased source, but someone asked his opinion on it, and he said, my commentary is that I'm not going to do this every week. If he's lined up too deep or leaving too early, they'd flag him. They aren't, so the refs don't think he's at fault right now. Not sure what else to tell you. I got warned for being too deep every week. Coaches hated it, but I'd see what the boundary was for that game. The next couple snaps, I'd line up and look to the refs like a wide receiver and make sure they liked my alignment. After that, I was locked in for the game and they left me alone, which is worth noting, right? There are conversations that happen between the refs and the players. It's possible the refs have decided you're allowed to be that deep this game. Uh, so, you know, the head of officiating disagreed, said it was a penalty. But, you know, it, there is, you know, there's always information that we as an audience just aren't aware of. Also, this was getting brought up. You know, you see him false starting. I'm going to show this uh, a number of times. See him false starting just before the uh, ball is snapped. Worth mentioning, this is in slow motion. Easier for us to see. That's hard for a ref to see in real time. But maybe something you should notice uh, if you have, uh, you know, uh, if you have enough examples of it happening. So, you know, there's two ways to take this. On one hand, it's a blunder by the refs. And you could say, once again, Kansas City getting the calls. The other way to take it is saying, once again, Kansas City you know, knowing what they can get away with, realizing these small things, being able to make the most of it. So, you know, what are your th thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.